Hey everybody, Brian Akins. Got a little companion video here to go along with the uh, website listing. Pictures are cool, but uh, the video, you guys get a feel for the flag. Um, if you saw my Facebook live video, that video was live. That was the first time I ever seen or touched the flag. I got excited in there. Uh, by now, the video has probably been viewed maybe over 400,000 times. Um, I know these flags, if you watch the media, everybody thinks, oh, oh, but I've had really, other than the no glove, no love crowd, and a few people, I guess they think you have to have a sport coat and a bow tie and talk like you are from the East Coast to, to know anything about this stuff, but you ain't getting that at Rebel Relics. No bow ties, no sport coats. Uh, I'm going to do me, and I do me well. But anyway, 400,000 views. I shouldn't cry a whole lot. Uh, who wants to see a rebel cry anyway? I just got the flag back from Heritage Flag Company, Josh Phillips. Uh, he made sure I had no uh, no bugs doing anything crazy on the flag. Um, the flag's just gorgeous. I'll address a few things real fast. Uh, first thing I noticed when I got the flag out of its uh, the canister it had been in, I saw this repair right here. Of course, the, the tape is missing. Oh, peekaboo. There it is. Uh, it, this flag, I knew it went along with the story of the Confederate soldier. I think his name is Norris, ripping the flag off the pole and getting it back to uh, the Confederate lines. I believe the 7th Tennessee, this flag is the only flag that didn't get captured out of Archer's Brigade at Gettysburg. Um, just a lot of history in our hands here. One thing I want to show you, too, is these bullet holes. There's six projectile holes on this flag. My favorite one is right here. You can tell where it went through the fimbration, the red and the blue. They just don't get any sexier than that. Uh, one of the things uh, that kept popping up on the uh, Facebook video was the star wasn't pointed up. These third bunning AMV flags, they're two-sided. And the painter, I believe, did it this way so he had more room. You'll see the 47th Virginia and the 17th Tennessee, they're in museums, I believe, and they're done the same way, and just let me show you real fast. My hands are clean. I have a special sanitizing agent I use. I can't tell you what it is. It's G14 classified, top secret. But you can tell right here, guys, that uh, if he'd have painted it this way, you still have your, your edge here to, to secure the flag, but it doesn't give him a lot of room to put, you know, the 47, the 17, or the 7, so he had his choice, and I believe that's why he did the flags this way. Plus, he wasn't a flag guy. He was a painter. Got Russ Hayes on the camera. He come out tonight to help me and to stare at the flag. I did not let Russ touch it. I don't think his hands are clean. All right, guys. Just want to show it off a little bit. Uh, love you. Keep an eye on Rebel Relics. I'm on the hunt.